Good evening, and welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi, a show about us, our people, our community, our culture, our experiences. And viewers, I'm sitting here in Queens with a group of just 18 and 19 year olds. They are students of Stony Brook University who will be traveling to Guyana in a few months for an educational outreach. Now, Mahendra, I believe you are the brainchild behind this educational program. I want you to, first of all, tell us what the program is and why did you want to go forth with this educational outreach that you'll be doing, I believe, in July in Guyana? Well, uh, first of all, thank you, Lakshmi, for having us on your show. Um, the program is we're doing a book drive and the book drive started on March 1st and it will go all the way through April 11th. And our goal is to collect as many books as possible. Now, many of you may wonder why we're doing a book drive, because as you know, in Guyana, students do go to school, but not many of them are fortunate enough to have a library. So by doing like a fundraiser, instead of collecting money for once, we're actually collecting books to ship to Guyana to these students. Now, I have a team that, been wor that I've been working with for the past uh, two weeks or so to get this um, organization up and going. And so far, our book drive has seemed to be a success, and we're getting a lot of books. And we just want to urge the um, community to uh, donate more books. Now, Mahendra, the name of your program is Promoting Higher Education Through Literature. Now, of course, reading books are very important, especially in the school system. Now, are you born in the United States? No, I was born in Guyana, but I came over here when I was seven years old. Okay. So in Guyana, you probably went to school at seven, I'm sure, but I, I don't think you could possibly remember anything. Not really. <laughs> so I'm sure you did some research before you decided to do this literature program. What did you find out about reading and books and education on the whole in Guyana? I mean, we see students going to school and most of them, they don't finish high school or even take that next step and move on to college, which we know is very crucial, especially in the economy crisis that we are. Um, and I had the opportunity to go down to Guyana twice and I actually saw the school and it wasn't stable. Students weren't going to school. Some of them were like neighbors. They just stayed home because they don't have that area to study and then they don't have the materials to use to study. So by donating these books, we're hoping to motivate these students and encourage them to go uh, beyond their potentials. Okay. Now, I wanna just go around the room. I see your partners here. <laughs> And we're just going to go around. Everybody, I, I'm noticing they're not Guyanese. They're not Indo-Caribbean. So I'm really curious to know why they are interested in helping our students in Guyana. So let's start with Nadia. My name is Nadia. Um, I am a math major, applied math and statistics, and um, I'm originally from Ukraine. Um, I came here when I was eight years old. Um, I am really excited to go to Guyana. <laughs> this is my first time going anywhere about Ukraine and here, pretty much. So um, I'm really excited to meet everyone. I'm really excited to go to somewhere different, learn a different culture, help people gain something, and hopefully, you know, show something to other people too. <laughs> and um, I'm, like, team-wise, I'm the editor-in-chief. So I manage everything that goes out, edit, stuff like that. And my program is um, the importance of education, which I'm doing with Mahendra. My name is Jody. Um, I'm American. I was born in Queens, but my family is originally from China. And in Stony Brook, my major is environmental studies. And I'm going to Guyana as the communications manager. I help communicate with other businesses. I send out emails, work with alumni. My program is the importance of college. When I first heard about um, Mahindra's hometown, I guess. Um, when I heard that not a lot of students get higher education past maybe middle school, I was really surprised because in my family, my entire family, where I'm from, everyone goes to college, everyone goes to high school. They all have more learning, further learning. And I was really surprised because I thought that education was open to everyone. And it was sad for me to see that not everyone can get it because there's no school them 
So I'm really glad to go to Guyana and help show them that college is achievable and everyone can get a higher education. Hi, I'm Danielle. Um, I was born in America as well, but my parents are from Barbados and Trinidad. My mom's from Barbados, my dad's from Trinidad. Um, so I kind of know the culture pretty well, but I've never been to Guyana, and it's something that I obviously want to do, and I'm really excited about this. Um, my program is called, it's, it's about worth et work ethics and um, the job opportunity. When, you, when you're done with college, when you're done with high school, you have to move on into the next field. And so I'm going to help them with the transition with that um, and kind of just how to approach it in the best way so you can get the most out of it. Um, oh, also my major is marine biology, kind of off the topic, but, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm really excited and I cannot wait to go. Hi, uh, my name is Changjup. Um, I am actually a Tibetan, but I was born and raised in Nepal. And um, I am actually, this is my first time in the United States as well. I just came in last um, August um, for college. And uh, this whole idea of like going to Guyana, I mean, it's a country that I've never been to before. In fact, I only heard of it when Mahindra introduced this awesome idea to us. And I'm really excited about going down there because it, I think it would be the first time I'd ever go to like any country down there in South America. and. Um, Mahindra has been showing us some like awesome videos and pictures about like Guyana and I'm really excited for it all. My program uh, that I'm going to be working on down there uh, is mm, called The Importance of Literature. I'm basically going to be working with the students with um, like I'm going to make them read books, uh, work on their writing skills, reading skills because I've realized that uh, it is really important for students to um, read more books in order to improve their English and their writing sk skills as well. Because, like I said, I'm not originally from the U.S. And uh, my English, a part of the reason why my English is as good as it is right now is because, like, my teachers, my schools back in my home, they, like, they used to make us read a lot. So I kind of know that importance. I can relate to it. So, yes. And my major is... Uh, like, like it's kind of undecided right now, but I'm probably going to decide it and change it into political science pretty soon. So I guess it will be a little related and I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Thanks. Well, Mahendra is really exciting meeting the entire team here. Now, what I did notice, like I said, everybody's different ethnicities mm -hmm. and they all have different majors mm -hmm. and they're all going to be helping the students with different programs. Now, um, what high school is it that you'll be visiting in Guyana? Okay. Um, the high school name is uh, Tagore High School. It's in uh, Burbies, Guyana. It's actually um, a village away from where I grew up. I grew up in 64 Village and the high school is in 63. So, I mean, uh, transportation, getting there, it wouldn't be like too far. But what made me pick that school is one, I had parents, family, friends, all that went to that high school. And to see that it's trying to develop, but they don't have all the um, necessities that we have over here, by just giving them these books um, and forming like a library and a study area, it's like making a child's dream come true, basically. And that's what we're hoping this program does for them. Now, bringing the books there and developing this library, that's one thing, bringing the books. But how are we going to get these students to read the books? Well, um, Cheng Chu has like this awesome way that she is going to try to like get them motivated to read. We're going to have like a reading challenge for that two weeks we're down there. And basically, um, we're looking at those of you uh, who know the series of unfortunate events, Lemony Snickets. Um, we're going to start off with book one and hopefully inspire them to continue reading the series. We're trying to work right now to get the entire series so we could provide it for the students. The reading age level is appropriate, and it's something that will keep them interesting. So, Mahendra, this is indeed a huge project, especially for, you know, students of your age. You're all freshmen at university. How did you put something like this together? I mean, I, I must imagine that the government or the Ministry of Education or the principal of the high school, someone must be involved in this. Yes, um, a former staff member from the uh, high school in Ghana, Mr. Uh, Naranjan Narain, 
I spoke to him. He's um, getting information out to the principal and the Ministry of Education down there while we are um, working on collecting the books over here. So he's like my liaison between uh, New York and Guyana, getting me information back and forth. Now, your goal is to raise 15,000 books. And what is the frame time? Was it like a month and a half? Mm -hmm. What was the frame time? It was a month and a half to raise 15,000 books. And it's only been like two weeks and we're having so much books like coming in and like we're very happy about it. Well, actually, viewers, I was before we got started. I mean, there were a couple of young children that came by. They dropped off these books. We decided just to leave it on the table. <laughs> there were some right here as well. The garage in the back is getting filled with books as well. So it looks like you're off to a great start. Mm -hmm. Mahendra, do you believe that you're going to reach your goal of 15,000 books by April? My aim is for that, but I think if we fall below, um, I wouldn't be mad or anything. Uh, it's just the experience from doing this that will take away, that will help us a lot in life and also mean a lot to us. Now, how are you guys getting these books to Guyana? You're not taking it in your suitcase, are you? No, no. <laughs> I mean, that would be nice to do, but no. <laughs> um, we have various um, shipping organizations, La Parkin, um, Sovereign Bank is also going to be sponsoring us to ship some books down there. We're waiting on final, like, you know, confirmation and everything. But we have had the blessing of having, like, so much sponsors come in and, like, um, willing to help us out. And we were very fortunate enough. I met um, the CEO of EasyJet Airline, Mr. Sonny Ramdale, amazing guy. Um, he, it's a new airline that's going nonstop um, on a weekly basis to Guyana. Uh, he actually um, sponsored all of our tickets here, all um, my entire team actually, to go down there, fly us down there actually for free. And it's because of people like this that are motivating us, that's giving us this passion to go forth and make this even a bigger project. Now, once you get down to Guyana, is there a program, a workshop that you will be doing with the students? Yeah, um, each of my um, team members here, um, we have a specific program planned. Um, we'll be talking to them about the various stuff they said before. Um, but our goal is to actually um, get them motivated through these programs, make them learn something and leave with something that they could share back with their community and also with student, new incoming students as we leave because we're not sure if we'll be able to go back down. When thinking of shipping a barrel, box or sending money back home, think of the name you can trust. Think Lapakan. Lapakan has been serving our community for over 25 years and a significant portion of every dollar spent at Lapakan goes to work in our community here and back home. Together, we are making a difference. For your shipping and money transfer needs, call Lapakan. Lapakan. The name we can trust.